again, he's his own player. Just like when I was a rookie, Steve Nash's name was thrown out there a lot. Uh, you take that with respect and understand it's flattering, but at the end of the day, that's not going to carry you through your league. It's, it's what you do with the opportunity you have in front of you. So um, I've been blessed to have you know, had a lot of success and experience in the league. Obviously, you, know, you expect Trey to kind of carve out his own lane um, and again be himself. He didn't have to be anybody else but be himself. Welcome back to the jump. You just heard Steph Curry's reaction to people trying to compare Trey Young, Trey Young's game to his. So, I mean, are people still trying to compare these two? I mean, Paul, do you compare them to? Well, his style of play. I mean, he shoots thirty footers. I mean, a lot he of guys pass. I mean, I mean, he he knows he patterns his game after Steph. I mean, we watched him in college, and the amount of half court heaves he took and made. I mean, it was easy to make that comparison. That is he going to be Steph Curry? Of course he's not. But, you know, throughout the history of the league, there has been always been comparison. We mm -hmm. compared Kobe to Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's always going to be comparisons to, I to your style. I remember when Karan Butler came out of the draft, people were saying, oh, he could be a Paul Pierce, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, because he was drafted in the same slot, you were drafted, right. all that. Right. We same do that. Yeah, kind of built. I mean, we're lazy. That's what it is. <laughs> media. We're lazy. Well, I mean, and we're trying to figure out, you're trying to figure out, it's not just, it's not just media, it's also, you know, front offices. So what Curry said in that uh, piece right there, he's talking about being compared to Nash. When we started scouting him at Davidson, Codename Black Nash. Right. So did you see Black Nash? What did Black Nash do last night? Mm. And so that that's who we thought. But what he said is that's cool and it's flattering, but you can't live off of no, well, I'm the next, you gotta go out there and, and definitely gotta him. carve his own niche. Yeah. I mean he's gonna yeah. be who he's gonna be. But it, it's it's good to get those comparisons. Absolutely. I mean you're you're heading in the right direction to be yeah. being compared to Steph Curry. I, I just hate the comparisons of outliers, right? Like Steph Curry, I, I know that like he's Clarence revolution. Weatherspoon's the next Charles Barkley. Right. <laughs> or you know, or Julius Randle was the next Zach Randolph, next, uh, right? Victor yeah. Ladipo's the next Dwayne right. Wade. Like yeah. those were comparisons. Oh no, Justice were... Winslow's the next uh, Dwayne Wade was one that no, was I don't remember they, that. Oh, they Who said, said that? that. They said we went to draft on draft day when they took him. They said, really? "Oh, he's got a way that's game." I was like, I don't "What are y'all talking about?" Mitchell was the next way. Right. He yeah. really is, actually. <laughs> I do feel like. Um, but you're right. That does happen a lot. Yeah. I mean, like, look, like you said, part of it is laziness. Part of it is we're trying to understand, like, what kind, how would your game fit, right? If there's a player coming out in the draft who's got uh, great IQ, great skill work. And, a, and as a scorer, he's going to get compared to Paul Pierce, mm -hmm. right? If there's a guy who's a jump out of athlete uh, big, who's a shot block, whatever, they're going to get compared to, like, Rudy Gobert or whatever. Right. And so we do that because we're trying to figure out, like, where do you fit in the league? Right. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't fit, you better be damn good. You got to be, like, a, a game changer, right? Yeah. Charles Barkley was a game changer. Allen Iverson was a game changer. And that's why you talk about don't compare to the outliers. This is the, it's hard to say that he's going to be the next Barkley because – there wasn't one before him, right. and there hasn't been one since. And that's why kind of like we're trying to find something to compare you to. Right. Shout out to Chuck. What's up? All right, Steph started the game last night against the Hawks pretty hot, I would say, scoring 18 points in the first quarter on six of seven shooting from the floor. So, Paul, what did you learn from Curry's flurry last night? You going to write it out? Write it out. Uh -oh. MVP. Get so the camera. On that. Get, get this man uh -oh. a one shot. Oh, man. A single. Where are we at? Well, right here's, now, here's Curry's no, shot listen, real quick. He, he, he. Hold it back Go up. Ahead, hold it back up, Paul. When he's out there, there it's, it's obvious the effect that he has on is. the game. Yeah. I mean, right now, I think he's the leading candidate for MVP. If he keeps up this play, the Warriors are going to be in first by the end of the year. Yeah. He's, his numbers are off the charts. Right now, he's, he's going to win his third MVP possibly the, this the, year. The, the game is not only so easy for him, but it makes it easier for everyone else when mm -hmm. he plays that way. Um, he outscored, I want to say he outscored the Hawks in the first quarter by himself. Yeah, I think so. Uh, he, he scored a point yeah. for every year that Trey Young has been on this earth. Like, that's, I mean, that's kind of wild when you think about it, yeah. but the, what he does more than the points and the great shooting and all that is you see how much fun he's having out yeah. there. Right. And for the Warriors, we saw that in this tough stretch for them. They're a team that runs on joy. Some teams run on anger. Like, they, oh, we, we mad. We playing out here mad. Yeah. That's not the Warriors. They went on joy. And their joy engine is Steph Curry. Well, yesterday on the show, remember, we talked about Steve Curry talking about kind of uh, the style they yeah. were playing. And we said, well, they're kind of playing, or I said, they're playing KD ball. KD ball, yeah. Right? Which is a little different than the way the Warriors naturally play. Now, they had right. to do it out of necessity, where there's a lot more isolation. Um, but this is what the Warriors are supposed to look yeah. like. Uh, the, the number I put out there yesterday is, 
since uh, Curry and Draymond were out, they were up to 15 ISOs per 100 possessions. Mm -hmm. That's way higher than their regular average of 10 when those guys play. And when those two are on the floor at the same time, Steph and Draymond, eight ISOs per 100 possessions, that's 30th in the league by far right. if, you know, if we put them with all the other team ranks.